SQL Server 2012 Pro. This is Kalmantov. This is my new book. It is available at Amazon.com and um, in your bookstore. Let's consider the following four table inner join. So first table is employees, then employee territories, then territories and region. If we look at the naming employee territories suggest a junction table between employees and territories, a junction table represents many to many relationships. So this relationship is uh, one employee belongs to many territories and one territory has many employees. Of course, uh, many can be as uh, few as one. The join itself is an equi-join. We are joining on uh, keys, foreign key and primary key. We have a where close predicate, it's the in operator, which takes a set on the right hand side and takes a single value on the left hand side. We are ordering by two column aliases, the territory alias and the region alias. The full name is coming from the concatenation of first name, space and last name. Concat operator is a uh, function level, is uh, new to SQL Server 2012. Let's execute the query and this is the result. 49 rows. We can scroll down. Let's check out the diagram for the four table join. So we highlight the query. Click on query drop down menu and select design query in editor. So here is our diagram. Let's rearrange it so we can see it better. We have to experiment to get this right. So So we see on this diagram that uh, the region ID primary key is joined with the region ID foreign key. Now the R table is the regions. We can see it aliased. That's the R table and T is uh, for the territories and uh, it is the employee territories and E is for uh, employees if we are guessing it. And we can see that the employee ID is primary key in the employees table and foreign key in the employee territory table which we correctly guessed that it's a junction table connecting the employees and the territory is stable and we see the primary key in this table is composite primary key of uh, territory ID and um, employee ID. Let's cancel from the graphical query designer. So what we see when we have to combine data from different tables, we have to join the tables and uh, 
the most logical join is of course joining foreign key and uh, primary key but as we see with our examples uh, we can uh, join uh, different uh, ways even when uh, not actually keys involved but some different data in summary joining tables is very very basic to database programming so it's important that we master the joins this is the end of a short demo